Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge Inside the Team, heute mit Max DiLeo. Max, thank you very much for uh, taking the time today. I know you're very busy this week because we have two games ahead of us, two road games. Um, how do the coaches prepare you for, the, for a week like this? Um, well, we have plenty of time, so that definitely helps. But we just we went into every day in practice just trying to get better that day and slowly build up and yeah get better so we can play the best over the weekend and on Thursday. You're speaking about it right now. Bonn is the next game and I think it's a special game for you because your brother TJ is on that team. Is it a, a special game for you or is it just a normal game? No, it's a special game. It's it's a weird feeling. It's it's a little bit different but it's always exciting and it's it's good to be able to see my brother. Um, it's just a little bit weird sometimes seeing him on the opposite team you know when I'm always usually rooting for him and then yeah and then it's almost like I, I want him to mess up or like <laughs> I want to make him mess up or something like this so it's it's definitely a little bit different but um, yeah it's it's definitely nice to see him and yeah get the opportunity to play against him. Is it an extra motivation to play against him especially? Yeah I think so I think we have a little bit of a competition you know we don't talk about it too much leading up to the game but after the game there's some joking some trash talk um yeah but it's been weird this week I haven't talked to him too much about basketball and normally yeah after practices we you know we talk about you know how we're doing and stuff so yeah it's been a little bit different this week how's the uh, situation for your parents they will watch the game probably and um who will they cheer for What do you think? Um, my parents, my mom's gonna go crazy for sure. She's, uh, she has a hard enough time staying calm watching one game. So uh, when both of her sons are playing, you know, she, <laughs> I guess either way she'll be happy because one of her sons will be doing well and um, one maybe won't be. But yeah, she, I, I think both of my parents, they just kind of, they want us to do good individually and, Just be in a position to help our team and whatever happens, happens. Um, I, I know it's kind of tough for them uh, leading up to it. and but Well, I guess uh, they're very proud of you too, so yeah. that's very good. Um, you played for uh, coach Pedro in Fechter and now you play for him in Hamburg. Why did you choose to follow him here? Um, I think he, he knows what he wants and what his goals are and I think he does a great job of communicating them and giving confidence to his players in a way that um, they fit into his plan uh, perfectly. And I, just from past experience, I know he always brings good character guys into the team, and that's really important for me. And yeah, just he's somebody that, you know, I've, I've just had the best experience with. Um, Yeah, in my career, and he gave me the opportunity for my first year in the BBL where a lot of other coaches uh, didn't or wouldn't give me the same type of chance that he did, and I'm really grateful for for that, and I, you know, I took advantage of it where I could, and I, I just think I fit into his system well. That's a good reason. So in the preseason, uh, you were elected as team captain with your teammate Bryce Taylor. Mm -hmm. And he told us last week that he takes over the role of an older brother for the team. How would you describe your role as a, a team leader, as a team captain? Um, I, I think I'm just the vocal one on the court, um, creating energy, uh, that type of stuff. Like even in practice or in the weight room, just trying to keep the uh, keep the energy high you know keep the mood good even if uh, a team in practice isn't doing so well I try to you know keep us on the right page and and um, yeah keep energy and the mood well where Bryce you know um, he's definitely he has the most experience and when he really steps in to say something it's it's like that older brother like uh, we we better listen to him you know and you know I think that's a, a good combination that we have going on and for me it's awesome to 
to have somebody like Bryce to kind of learn from, um, you know, for my future and to help my leadership skills. So, yeah, yeah, it's a interesting position uh, for me to be in. And yeah, I feel kind of lucky that I get to you know, be co-captain with him. That's awesome. Nice. So where do you take that energy from? Do you have to prepare uh, prepare yourself for uh, for practice or uh, for a game like that in a coffee. special way? <laughs> no. I mean, coffee does help sometimes, but uh, it's... I get excited. It's your excited. personality, maybe. Yeah, I get excited. I like having fun. And even, you know, there's definitely days where I'm hurting or... Uh, whatever uh, the, the weather's terrible you know and uh, you know you just don't have as much energy to be here and I find I learned from my college coach to like if you just act enthusiastic you become enthusiastic and I live by that you know I, some days I'll, I'll come in here and I don't want to be the guy yelling and talking and stuff like that but as soon as I get it going it just it just happens and the other teammates they start talking a little bit more and it's just contagious and it just creates a better environment that's very good it seems like you have a great uh, team chemistry yeah um now we checked you of course during the last two uh, season games and you played an average of uh, 21 minutes and you didn't have any turnovers so do you think you can keep up that score for the whole season <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, I definitely wouldn't mind never turning the ball over, but, <clears throat> you know, you have to take chances sometimes, and it's just, it's, it's part of the game. So, you know, we'll we'll definitely try and limit the turnovers, and, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I think I allow you one. Is that okay? Is that a deal? For the season? Yeah, that's, that seems fair. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, thank you. Those were my questions, Max. Um, and okay. now, of course, we asked some uh, the people on Instagram what, oh boy. what they uh, have in mind. Okay. And at Mike DiLorenzo25, he asks you, what's your mom's opinion of the mullet? My mom's opinion of the mullet. Um, <laughs> I want to say that she loves it, but I know... She probably doesn't. She just doesn't want to say anything to me because I get very defensive about my mullet because... Because it's I, beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's, <laughs> it's nice. It's very nice. So next question is from Hans Brase. Uh, I don't know okay. if you know him, maybe. No, I don't. Okay. What's prettier, your mullet or Hans Schnobart? Uh, my mullet. Easy. Easy. Very simple. Yeah. Okay. I think he knows the answer to that one, too. <laughs> So the next question is from <laughs> at Mick LD, uh, 89. What are your personal goals for the next, let's say, five years? Five years? Um, I want to learn as much as I can about basketball as a player and maybe uh, for a future in coaching, just uh, just gather information and, and learn. Um, yeah, and maybe at some point have a better idea of what I want to do in the future, whether, you know, start making more investments or um, investing my time, myself, to pushing to the next level, whether it be with coaching, taking a more in-depth look at what exactly I want to do. But definitely just gathering information and learning as much as I can. Okay, Jules Dixon wants to know, who is the best DeLeo, Max, TJ, Tony, Frank, or I would like to add Anna DeLeo because she played basketball as well, right? Oh, yeah. Um, Who's the best? The best? I mean, Anna probably has the best record, that's for sure. <laughs> she She's a baller, and she still, to, to this day, she's the best free throw shooter in the family. Well, so I'll give her that. Nice. Um, other than that, I don't know. That's that's a tough one. We we forgot Dave, David DeLeo. He's playing in Spain too. He's a baller too. Okay. So. Well, well you would be a great team, I think. I think all hey, of you together. We could, we could get it going. We could get it going. All right. Thank you very much, Max. That was the interview for today. Yeah. Um, you're starting on Thursday in Bonn. Best of luck uh, for the team and you. Uh, we want a, w a W, of course. <laughs> thank you. We'll do our best. All right. Thank you very much. Um, das war Inside the Team, präsentiert von Magna. Danke.